All right, what's up, guys? Tuesday, October 8th, and I've kind of been slacking on the videos lately. I'm going to get back into it. So we got to get through the Fed. We got to get through the PPI. We got to get through the CPI. But at the moment, I think a market trying to shape up for a breakout. For the SPY here, we got to squeeze on the daily 4-hour, 2-hour, 1-hour time frames. The daily squeeze is brand new, but it's also perfect. Big 3 buy signal, the perfect score of 12, and that all makes for an A-plus setup. If that does fire to the upside, I think you're looking for 580, 583-ish. Drop down to our 4-hour, and we got the slingshot. If they can take that MACD, pull that back through 0, then the odds favor. That wants to fire to the upside. And then 2-hour squeeze is almost perfect. 1-hour squeeze is... Perfect for now. QQQ. Got a few here for the Qs. A weekly squeeze, a two-day squeeze, a daily squeeze, and a four-hour. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that weekly squeeze maybe this weekend. A little more shorter term. Focus on your two-day daily four-hour. For the four-hour squeeze, uh, we got the slingshot signal. Structure is bullish. Momentum is bullish. Um, I'm sorry, structure is bullish, trend is bullish. Only thing missing for a nice move is momentum. Take that MACD, pull that back through zero, and we should be in good shape here. And then as of today's session, much like the SPY, got ourselves a brand spanking new daily squeeze. That fires to the upside. There's a path here towards 500 bucks. Two-day squeeze, that calls for a path towards 507, 510. So all kinds of good stuff, and yeah, get through the Fed, get through all the economic data, and if things don't fall apart here, I think those squeezes want to take the market higher. From there, we jump over to the rankings, and for the big boys, we got Broadcom, Netflix, TSM, NVIDIA, Meta, AMD, Apple, AMAT, and then kind of a, a drop-off from there. So Broadcom is numero uno, and the good news is... If you're in my room, we got ourselves a little Broadcom. A plus setup on the weekly and the three-day squeeze. We've got a 200 call fly for November expiration. 200 call fly, 10 bucks wide. Should that weekly squeeze fire, we got a target around 210. I'm liking that call fly. And then better yet, for the, uh, the NVIDIAs, the Broadcoms, the AMDs of the world, if we go take a quick look here at the SMH, we have the first daily buy signals since July with a 15-minute, 4-hour, 2-day, 3-day weekly squeeze. You know, those all fire to the upside. Good for NVIDIA, good for Broadcom, AMAT, all the above. So 200 call fly on the weekly squeeze there for Broadcom. And then number two would be Netflix. So back on Friday... Friday of last week, we jumped into the, yeah, Friday of last week, we jumped in with a put credit spread, and then Monday morning, pretty good gap down, pretty good flush, uh, the typical downgrade kind of action, and then today, a quick turnaround, nice pop, and the thing about a put credit spread is, um, it can feel like a safe trade, the more the trade works in your favor, you know, the crappier your risk reward. We sold it for about 250, bought it back for about one and change. You know, not a home run. Good enough for a paycheck, good enough for a base hit. That being said, um, maybe a half hour after we close that, more like 10 minutes after we close that, we jump back in with a 730 call for this Friday's expiration. I love the setup. A plus weekly squeeze, A plus on the two-day squeeze, A plus on the daily squeeze. With a four-hour and a 15-minute, you've got it right at the breakout point. Best case scenario, we got a strong market tomorrow morning, and then the 15-minute squeeze here gaps up for a move towards 7.30, 7.35-ish. I want to play it into Friday. Um, as far as trying to play that into next week... Again, a really, really good setup. 
only thing I don't love, earnings are next... Earnings are next Thursday. Well, you know, if earnings were maybe two, three weeks away, then maybe I approach that daily squeeze thinking more swing trade. For now, I'm thinking take out the highs here, push that towards 730, 735. We'll cash out, step aside, and then find out what's up for earnings. Overall, really good setup. Um, you got TSM and NVIDIA, so for NVIDIA, good move here today through that 130 call wall. We had a, a really solid 30-minute squeeze here back on Friday. He jumped in, bought some call debit spreads. That fired on Monday. Kicked off a push towards that 130 call wall. We took about 50% uh, profit out of that. Little flush, gap it up this morning, and off she goes. It does have a weekly and a three-day squeeze. At any point, I get the official weekly buy signal. That's valid for a move into 155, 160. Little shorter term, if they can hold it above that previous 130 call wall, I want to buy it on the next 15 minute, 30 minute hourly squeeze. Play for a move towards 135, 140. Who else have we got? Um, how about finish it up here with some Apple? Now, I think at the moment, um, QQQ, SPX, Netflix, NVIDIA, Broadcom, they look a little better than Apple. I'll show you Apple because I think there's a lot of potential here. Especially if the QQQ can take uh, the daily, two-day, weekly squeeze and then fire them towards the upside. Right now, Apple has a three-day, two-day, daily, four-hour, two-hour, one-hour, 15-minute squeeze. That translates into uh, a crap load of energy getting built up. What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to anchor to my daily 21 EMA. And then pretty straightforward, above that 21 EMA, if I can get a good 30-minute, one-hour buy signal, then I want to jump in and buy it. Above that 21 buy signals, I'm looking for a 235 call. And then, yeah, from there, play for the push. Um, you know, under that 21 EMA, I don't think I want to short the Big Apple. Might be a little too early for a long. But the, uh, the theme right now is indexes, big tech names, big semiconductors. A lot of them printing these bigger time frame squeezes. We haven't quite had that dynamic since, you know, May, June of last year. Back in June. Yeah, back in June. Beautiful daily squeeze here on the S&Ps. That fires. And as a trader, that gives you a lot of wind at your back. Right around the same time, had a, a beautiful weekly squeeze here for the QQQ. That also fires to the upside. So not to say it all has to happen again, but bunch of buy signals, bunch of squeezes, get through the Fed, get through all the eco data, and I think they want to take it higher for now. As we all know, could change as early as tomorrow morning. As always, folks, thank you for watching. Have a great night. If you haven't already, hit the like and the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.